George Galloway. to Lawrence Fox all the time and I hope to talk to Paul uh, more deeply and let me just say I wish he'd been standing in this by-election it would have been it would have been a much better fight this man's almost miraculous achievement last time <coughs> will I hope bear fruit next time because i'll not be standing next time but i am standing this time and so you deserve to know uh, where i stand on the issue of free speech there are limits to free speech the libel law uh, being one of them i've made use of that from time to time Incitement to hatred and so on, violence, incitement to disorder, shouting fire in a darkened cinema are all proscribed issues of free speech. But one of the reasons I talk with Lawrence all the time is I abhor this cancel culture. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Every person to the right of you is called far right, and if there are two steps to the right of you, they're called a fashion. Lawrence Fox is neither of these two things, and neither is Paul Halloran. We have to be able to have respectful, even profound disagreement yes. without hating each other without regarding each other as enemies because as Lawrence so sagely said in his speech we are all British yes. here yes. all of us are British here I was, I was trending on Sunday morning on Twitter as far right because I supported Brexit and far right because I opposed the cancel culture and far right and there's far too much of it and we must stand up and fight it we must fight for everyone's right to a point of view including the teacher in the Batley Grammar School who from Paul's account has been shamefully betrayed by those people above him in the chain of command in the local education area. If it's the case, as Paul said, that no image was shown in the classroom, then what was this all about? There is no proscription even in the Islamic religion to talking about depictions I've just done it and no one yet has stoned me <laughs> for doing so <laughs> if there was no image in that lesson then what was this all about with such tragic consequences not just for the family and the teacher but for the reputation of this area already we have one dark cloud over us because here a member of parliament was cruelly murdered on the streets whilst exercising her public duties and now we've got another one the Batley grammar issue we want this place to be recognized in Britain and beyond for something better than those two things. And so we need a political class that has some brains and has some courage. Balls. Those lions, <coughs> the lion and the tin man in the Wizard of Oz, strike me as a fair depiction 
of the political representation we've had around here. Labour are complaining there's a by-election. But it was them that caused the by-election. It was their MP doubling her money and going on to what she thought was a better job than the lowly task of representing this constituency in the House of Commons. Well, she may not have represented you. She certainly thrown the course. She's bolted and is now being even more handsomely remunerated for doing so. I am very concerned about what's taught in the schools. Some of you won't like this. I'm the father of five school-age children. And I don't want my young children at primary school, aged seven and nine, taught about sex. I don't want them taught how to masturbate. I don't want them taught about anal sex. I don't want them taught that there's 99 genders. I don't want them taught that men can become women by the mere act of declaring themselves to be and end up in an Olympic team beating the actual girls and the actual women. I don't want them taught that parents chest feed when in fact it's women who breastfeed. Glory to women. Women look up at the sky. This kind of woke, liberal identity politics is anathema to me. So I want parents' views on what their children are taught and when they are taught it to be taken properly into account. And in this area, that is not happening. We have a council so stupid, they sold a police station and tried to ban a free speech rally. <laughs> Napoleon said that war is too important to be left to generals. Well, education is too important to be left to Mufti Pandor, Councillor Pandor, or teachers, or head teachers. We, the parents, have to have our wishes properly taken into account on the curriculum. In religious education, in PSE, in the way our history of our country is taught, so that our children are not taught to hate their own country, yeah. to think their own country is the worst country in the world, when in fact it's the best country in the world in which to live, which is why so many people want to come and live in it. I've gone on perhaps too long. I could have sent you a message. I could have sent you an email or like the Scarlet Pimpernel standing for the Tory party, I could have just disappeared. But Lawrence Fox invited me, Paul Halloran invited me, and it's my honour to stand on this platform with them. Thank you very much indeed.